Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now, for today's topic, many of you may not agree with this article today, but there is a very high chance that you will be interested in the future. All right? So it has to do with dating. All right? So just stay with me here. It's interesting. So dating 101, 101 is the beginning, you know, class, right? It's the first level. Best countries for dating. Some of your classmates may have become couples, right? Couples is when a boy and a girl, they, you know, start dating, right? You might want begin to question. You might begin to wonder if you should be dating too. Well, don't sweat it. Don't worry for now. You don't need to date right now, but let's take a look at the world around us. What older people are doing. How is dating life in different countries and cultures? So not just Korea. How is it in you know, Africa or is in Russia? How do people date? In late June, the US News and World Report released a list of the 25 best countries for dating. So the US, this organization, this group, they sent out a list of countries that shows about dating, right? Not about money or something, but it, it has to do with dating. They gathered, this, they collected this information by surveying or asking with people, 16,200 citizens or people from 60 countries in 24 different categories, in 24 different groups, right? So they're asking this many people in this many countries, uh, in this many groups, right? Then they ranked the countries, what's number one, two, three, four, five, six, based on five qualities. So they gave them a score, right? There's five different scores they get. Friendliness, are they nice? Fun, are they boring or fun? Attractiveness, this has to do with their face. Trustworthiness is are they honest or not honest? And approachability means uh, is it easy to meet each other or is it hard to meet each other, right? The results show that there are many amazing countries that are good for dating, right? Easy to believe. Countries that made the list include Turkey, Mexico, Austria, Japan, Argentina, France, of course, is a very romantic country, and Canada. But which country was ranked number one? Well, it was Brazil in South America, famous for its fun, diverse cultures. There's many different kinds of you know, food and culture and dancing and clothes. It's a very many different kind. That, that's what diverse means. Sunny beaches. Many respondents, many of these 16,000 people ranked it the highest for dating. Ranked again means number one, two, three, four, five. The highest, second place, third place. Today, there are more options than ever more choices than ever as people travel with more curiosity and open-mindedness. Open-mindedness means we want to learn new things. We want to talk to new kinds of people, right? World travelers will be able to find romance in unexpected places. So you could be very surprised where you find your next girlfriend or boyfriend, right? It can be in a different country or it can be, you know, in, on a boat or something. What a time to fall in love, right? Any time's a good time to fall in love. So, A, what did the US News and World Report release in late June? They released a list of the 25 best countries for blank. So what action are we focusing on today? We're not talking about food, or clothes or games, we're talking about when a girl and a boy, they want to be girlfriend and boyfriend, right? So we say that is dating. So the best countries for dating, to find the girlfriend, to find the boyfriend. B, how did they make the list? They surveyed or asked 16,200 citizens, people of countries, 
from 60 countries on 24 different categories and blanked the countries. So they gave them a score and with the score they gave them like first place, second place, third place and when we do that we say we are ranking them. Right? We can rank you know the most popular idol groups or rank the best colleges, right? C. What made Brazil number one? Right? Of course they're number one. It's fun, blank, cultures and sunny beaches made it number one. So we're talking about cultures. Cultures is talking about you know how people talk to each other, what they wear, what they eat, what kind of music they listen to, you know what kind of activities they do and it's not just one culture in Brazil there's many different cultures there right so we say it is diverse right it's not just one kind it's many many different kinds so we say diverse means different kinds okay A we're gonna go over three review terms here you might begin to blank if you should be dating too you might begin to wonder or think about or really try to ponder should I be dating too? Well another way to say that is to question. These are all questions that we are asking ourselves, right? B. The results show that there are many blank countries that are good for dating. There are many you know fantastic countries, super superb countries, very very good countries, great countries we say those are amazing countries amazing is when you're like wow this is amazing it's awesome right? C. World travelers will be able to find romance in blank places so in this place when we are traveling we're going to new places right? and we can be very very surprised Right? So another way to say surprise is unexpected. Right? So if we go to the ocean, right? Sharks and fish are expected, right? We know that sharks and fish live there, but maybe an airplane in the water would be unexpected because we never, you know, think about an airplane in the water, right? We're very surprised by it. So to review, question is to think about, to wonder, to doubt, or to you know really ponder about. Amazing is something that's very fantastic and is awesome to you. And unexpected is something that you don't expect, something you don't think will be there, uh, something that is surprising to you. All right. So again, these kinds of topics are you know it has to do with how old you are, right? So believe it or not, you will find this information now or in the future. Alright, so thank you for joining us today.